this may surprise you, one out of every three people living in Lane County is eligible for food assistance. So glad you're with us on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Joining us is Karen Edmonds. She is the Programs and Services Director for Food for Lane County. Thanks for being with us. You're welcome. That is astonishing. One out of every three people. Uh, is it because it's so rural here and a lot of jobs were tied to timber? And there's a lack of jobs and there's a lack of family wage jobs, jobs that people can have and actually support a family. People have to make hard decisions. Sometimes it's a decision between paying your medical bills, paying your childcare bills, or buying food. And food is the most flexible thing in a family's budget. Now, uh, we're going to give you another surprising statistic. As far as childhood hunger in the United States, Oregon ranks. Sadly, we're number one. Number one in childhood hunger. It's not what we want to be number one in <laughs> or known for. So I keep asking this question to the people that tell me statistics like this, why? It's a very hard question to answer. There are a lot of factors at play, but certainly the employment rate is one of them. And then when there's an economic downturn, Oregon typically is really slow to recover from that. And so families struggle with that. So we have some good news on the horizon, some legislation that's passed. First, let's talk about the crop donation tax credit. Sure, that recently passed in the Oregon legislature unanimously in both the, the Senate and the House, which was wonderful. And uh, what it does is it allow farmers to donate their excess crops to the food bank and they'll receive a share of the market price for that crop as a tax credit. So rather than having those crops get tilled under, they'll be used by people who are hungry through the system of the food banks and food pantries. So we're number one in childhood hunger and we had farmers at one time, in fact, until very recently, mm -hmm. till over excess crops. They could till it over or they could donate it at a loss to them. So they never got compensated for that donation in any way. And this allows them to at least, it doesn't cover all their costs of donation, but it does at least provide a little bit of incentive for that. And this took many, many years of government uh, knowledge to, to figure out that this might be a better way to, to do things here in the, I'm not gonna put you on It's not entirely new, it's not entirely new. It has uh, been in the legislature for several different forms and it's been in law for several different years and then it's sunsetted, but this was a recent. Okay recent reiteration to get it back. And in Lane County, there's good news on the horizon because mm -hmm. that uh, there's a plot of land. The new state hospital uh, mm -hmm. is being built there, but uh, more than that, there's more land available. There is. So the Department of Corrections owns land that's right in Junction City, right by where the state hospital is going in. And they are leasing that land, 80 acres of it, for a dollar a year to Food for Lane County to help farm crops that will then go to feed the hungry people in our community. So we're gonna contract actually with a farmer, Tom Hunton of Camas Country Mill. He's right across the street and he's actually going to be harvesting, planting and harvesting 65 acres of oats and eventually lentils that will then be available to feed hungry people in our community. It's helping the economy. As it's well, helping the local, the local economy. economy and local agriculture as well. All right, yeah. so uh, we have people out there who are wondering how do, how do I donate food? Do I donate my time? Uh, four things people can do. There are, there's four things people can do because something, hunger is a problem that we can do something about. And it takes a lot of work of the community and we're incredibly, incredibly indebted to the, the generosity of our community to help come with Food for Lane County because people believe, as we do, that no one should be hungry, right. right? And there's four things that people can do. And the first one they can do is donate food. So you can never underestimate the power of a can of green beans. Okay? okay, it's gonna go far. And I can tell you from the work of the food bank, I oversee all of the distribution, that can of green beans that people might donate mm -hmm. will get to somebody that needs it in the form of a food box, which is absolutely wonderful. There's advocating, there's volunteering, and mm -hmm. finally... You can also donate money. Donate money, all right. Mm -hmm. Karen Edmonds, thank you very much for joining us on Comcast Newsmakers. We want to thank you for being here as well. From the Ford Alumni Center on the campus of the University of Oregon, I'm Ken Ackerman for Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day.